here's a wonderful question to test your analytical skills. You're presented with the series of shapes in the boxes. The first box has the arrow pointing left. Second box has triangle pointing left. Third box has a square. And then comes the box with the missing shape. You have four different choices to choose from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better ideas on how to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. You're probably tired of hearing it on this channel, but the key to solve these types of challenges is to find the pattern. And the pattern here is that the sides of the shape are increasing by one in each sequence. So for example, if you look at the first shape, it has two sides, and the number continuously increases to three and four sides respectively, which means that the missing shape should have the five sides, and only shape B has five sides. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. A lot of people ask how can I help on this channel? One of the best ways to help is to help other people answer the questions that they're getting. If you know the answer to the question you see in comments, please post the answer in the comment section of this video. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's an amazing question to test your math skills. You're presented with simple expression and you need to calculate the value of this expression. You have four different choices. Choice A, one. Choice B, three. Choice C, seven. And then choice D, nine. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can calculate the solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to share with you the correct answer. As you might have guessed, the correct answer here is choice A, one. But why? If you look at the expression closely, you will see that the first part that would need to be calculated is the division, dividing three by one third. To emphasize this, I put this expression into red parentheses. When you calculate three divided by one third, you will get to the result of nine. And then you need to do sequentially subtraction and then addition. Nine minus nine equals zero, plus one equals one. This is the reason the correct choice here is choice A, one. And then one last important reminder is that the sequence is determined based on the acronym PEMDAS. The sequence is driven by parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Hopefully you refreshed your memory from middle school and now know how to answer similar problems in the test. Here's one of my favorite questions where you need to count number of squares presented in the shape. You have four different choices. Choice A, eight. Choice B, 12. Choice C, 15 squares. And choice D, 18 squares. Take a close look at the picture to see if you can come up with the right choice. Nobody is going to give you a tip during the real test, but I am going to give you a hint. Look at the squares inside the squares. Ready or not, I am moving forward to get you to the correct solution. Believe it or not, I counted 15 squares in this picture. Let me show them all to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Did you get to a different number? Please correct me and post your solution in the comment section of this video. I would like to ask you to participate in our daily assessment test challenge. I post new question every day in the community tab of YouTube channel and give you an opportunity to answer it and try it. And I post answer in comments next day. So please make sure to check it out to test your knowledge. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's an amazing question to test your analytical skills. You need to calculate the missing number. You're presented with triangle, which is split into three equal or almost equal parts. At the bottom of the triangles, on each side, you see numbers eight and two. In the middle section of the triangles, you see numbers four and six. And on the top of the triangle, you see number three on the left 
and on the right, you need to calculate the missing number. You're presented with four different choices. Choices A, 6. Choice B, 10. Choice C, 7. And choice D, 2. Do you see the answer? I'm gonna give you a quick hint here. You need not to guess the number, but you need to calculate it. Let's move forward so we can get to the correct solution together. I keep repeating it on this channel, but the fundamentals are solid. You need to always look for patterns in these types of questions. And there are actually two patterns here. The first pattern is that each row adds up to 10, and vertically value add up to 15. So for example, if we add 8 plus 2, that would be equal to 10. 4 plus 6 would be equal to 10. And 3 plus the missing number would also be equal to 10. So the correct answer here is choice C, 7. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is a very interesting question where you need to calculate percentage of Tesla Model S sales in 2023. You're presented with the bar chart, which shows sales for the periods of 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024. And each section has sales for Model X, Model Y, and Model S. Based on the information presented, you need to determine which number is correct out of four different choices. Choice A, 20%, choice B, 27%, choice C, 33%, and then choice D, 40%. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. Hopefully you figured it out because I'm moving forward to share the final answer with you. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. First, let's take a close look at the 2023 sales. You can see that we sold eight units of Model X, we sold 12 units of Model Y, and then 10 units of Model S. So total units sold in 2023 would be 8 plus 12 plus 10 equals 30. Now let's determine the percentage. We sold 10 units of Model S in 2023, which is one third of the 30 units in total. So the correct choice here is one third of 100%, which is approximately 33%. So the answer here is choice 3, 33%. Hopefully you figured this out and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. A lot of you are interested and ask me, how can I help others? One of the ways you can help other people is by sharing the latest questions you see as part of the assessment test. And when you share, please make sure to also include how you answered them. Please share the question you recently encountered in the comment section of this video. And if you know the answers, please share them as well. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. I love this question because it truly makes you think to determine the final answer. You need to determine which number has the lowest value. And you have four different choices. Choice A, 1 third plus 0 0.4. Choice B, 1 plus 2.1. Choice C, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.31. And choice D, 6 tenths. Give yourself a few seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. The tricky part here is that the question is designed to make you do a mental math. To get to the final answer, you need to simplify all the options. For example, option A, 1 third plus 0 0.4 equals 0 0.33 plus 0 0.4, which is 0 0.73. Choice B, 1 plus 2.1 equals 3.1. Choice C, 0 0.20 plus 0 0.31 equals 0 0.51 and choice D 6 tenths equals 0 0.6 which means if you look at the answers that option C has the smallest value of 0 0.51 followed by option D A and B was it challenging for you please share your thoughts and suggestions on how to better solve it in comments And now, here's the question for you to try your skills. You need to determine how many triangles are shown on the screen. You have four different choices. Choice A, 8. Choice B, 10. Choice C, 12. And choice D, 14. Feel free to pause this video to calculate the right answer. And make sure to post your solution in comments so I can give you my feedback. 
Thanks for participating and good luck. I love this question because it uses your brain power and also allows you to improve your English vocabulary. You need to identify all the words with the similar meaning. The words are leader, lender, leather, coach, and influencer. Keep in mind that there could be between two and five words in the answer. What's also interesting is that some words sound similar, but in reality represent very different meanings. Ready or not, I'm going to move forward and jump to the solution. Similar words here, as far as I see them, are leader, coach, and influencer. And obviously, if you have a different set of words, please make sure to post in comments. Let me share with you why those words are similar. The definition of leader is a person who leads or commands a group, organization, or a country. Coach is someone who trains a person or a team in a particular activity. And an influencer is someone who inspires or guides the actions of others. Basically, the similarity between these words is that they represent someone in power who uses his or her skills to help others. For example, leader could be a president, prime minister, or CEO. Coach could be somebody helping with sports activities, like basketball coach, or with personal development, like personal coach. An influencer could be someone who has following on social media, for example, social media influencer. Do you see any other ways to use these words? Please make sure to share in comments. And now it's time for you to practice your skills to see if you can come up with the answer. You're presented with chart of profit and loss between the period of 2018 and 2024. The chart shows revenue, expenses, and taxes. And you need to determine during which period revenue declined. You have four different choices to choose from. 2018 to 2020. Choice B, 2019 to 2020. Choice C, 2020 to 2021. And then choice D, 2023 to 2024. Do you see the answer? I truly hope with the skills that you learned here, you can quickly identify the answer and post it in the comment section of this video so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Very frequently, you might get tested on how quickly you can form the words using letters of the English alphabet. In our case, you're presented with nine letters and you need to form the word using all the letters only once. The letters are R, E, P, X, E, T, E, S, I. Do you see the word? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 15 seconds, to see if you can answer the question. Ready or not, I am going to reveal the answer, which is the word expertise. And the definition of expertise is an exceptionally high level of skills, knowledge, or performance in a particular task or within a given domain. To better solve these types of challenges, try to look at the presented letters and try to form the word. For example, if you start in the middle and go E-X-P-E-R-T-I-S-E, -E, you can definitely form the word expertise. Can you tell us how many questions did you answer correctly? Please make sure to post in the comment section of this video to share with others. And now let's continue to get you ready for the test. Here's the cool question that you frequently get on the test. You're presented with four different letters and you need to guess the word using all letters presented. The letters we have are W, O, B and L. Can you guess the word? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the answer. Ready or not, let's go ahead and reveal the solution. The correct answer here is ball, which is spelled as B-O-W-N-L. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. I love this question because it seems simple, but it allows you to show all your brain power. And instead of answering it for you, I'd like you to show off and practice your skills. You're presented with 10 words and you need to identify all synonyms to the word accountant. 10 words are carpenter, mason, actuary, teacher, 
auditor, analyst, bookkeeper, engineer, controller, and treasurer. Question is so cool because there could be between 1 and 10 answers. Give yourself a little bit of time and when you're ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments. This will allow me to give you feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here is an interesting question where you need to determine Dice's number at the bottom. Dice was rolled twice and Dice's numbers have been captured in snapshots 1 and 2 with numbers 1 and 6 at the top. The Dice was rolled again. You need to determine the number at the Dice's bottom if number 5 is currently at the top. You have four different choices. Choice A, 1, choice B, 2, choice C, 3, choice D, 6. Do you see the answer? Please take a close look because the answer may not be obvious. Maybe pause this video to give yourself a little bit of time to find the solution. Are you ready? Let's move forward and get to the correct solution together. To solve this challenge, let's take a close look at the DICE's snapshots. Based on both snapshots, we can learn that numbers 4, 1, 3 and 6 are all adjacent to number 2. Because DICE only has 6 sides and corresponding 6 numbers, based on the two snapshots, we can determine that 5 must lie opposite of number 2. This is why if 5 is at the top, then 2 must be at the bottom. Did you figure it out on your own? Please share your thoughts and the way you solved this challenge in the comment section of this video. Would you like to try your own skills now to see how well you can solve the challenge? This is your opportunity to find the next number in the sequence. You are presented with three different numbers, 33, 55, 77 and one number is missing. You have four different choices to select the solution. Choice A 97, choice B 99, choice C 105 and choice D 107. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can solve this challenge. And once you're ready, make sure to post your answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here is the interesting challenge you might frequently see on the test. You need to determine minimum time for people to cross the bridge. Every person moves at individual speed and four people can cross the bridge in different durations. They can cross it in 3, 7, 13 and 17 minutes respectively. The trick here is that only two people can cross the bridge at the same time. You need to determine what is the minimum time for four people to cross the bridge. You are presented with four different choices. Choice A 17 minutes, choice B 20 minutes, choice C 34 minutes and choice D 12 minutes. Are you ready for the challenge? Let's move forward and get to the correct solution together. As you might have determined, certain sequence provides the best efficiency for travelers to cross the bridge. Let's give each traveler the number. Based on the speed, this person can cross the bridge. We will first send number 17 and 7 at the same time to cross the bridge. After 7 minutes, number 7 finished crossing the bridge. And number 17 needs additional 10 minutes to complete the travel. Let's now send number 13. After additional 10 minutes, number 17 reaches the finish line and number 13 needs 3 more minutes to complete the travel. Let's now send number 3. Both number 3 and number 13 reach destination at the same time after additional 3 minutes. And total time it took for travelers to cross the bridge would be 7 plus 10 plus 3 equals 20 minutes. So the correct answer here is choice B, 20 minutes. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. 
Let's look at the interesting question where you need to form the word. And you need to use all the letters and only use each letter once. You're presented with nine letters. Those nine letters are S, Y, R, C, I, E, O, V, D. And you need to form the word using all the letters. Do you see the solution? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 20 seconds. This is typically as much time as you get in a real test. Ready or not, I am going to reveal you my version of the solution. But my version may not be the only one. So if you see other possible options, please make sure to share them in comments. The word you can form is discovery. Let me spell it for you. D I S C O V E R Y. And the definition of discovery is the act of finding out or learning about something for the first time. Here's the sample sentence where word discovery is used. Scientists consider detection of gravitational waves the greatest discovery of the 21st century. Did you discover any other words? Make sure to post them in comments. And if you're getting ready for the test and looking for additional questions to practice, make sure to check the description of this video for links to additional resources. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.